Welcome back. In this week's story time with Ann Phil, from rags to riches, 121 years ago, a Washington woman came to Alaska during the Klondike Gold Rush, mm -hmm. and she would turn adversity into a thriving business in Southeast. Harriet Smith Pullen arrived in Skagway with her husband in 1897. Now, the marriage didn't last, though, and Pullen wound up divorced and broke. As author Laurel Downing Bill tells us, thanks to some ingenuity and talent in the kitchen, her fortunes would soon change. Earning $3 a day as a cook, the 37-year-old enterprising woman opened up a tent restaurant to serve the hungry stampeders. And then she also started baking pies using discarded cans as her pie plates. Her baking skills really took off and became quite notorious because she used tons of dried apples that were included in most of the stampeders outfits. In fact, she got enough money that she was then able to send for her seven sons to come and help her with the business, which she moved into a wooden building. An experienced horsewoman, she thought perhaps transportation would be a profitable business for her as well. So she sent for her seven horses. And when they arrived in Skagway, she got in a rowboat and went out and guided them into the shore because nobody else was up for the job. Through grit and determination, she hired on as a packer for the stampeders to haul their supplies along the White Pass Trail. She was one of the only females to be a packer during that time and she put up with a lot in the rugged countryside as well as the shenanigans of Soapy Smith and his gang of thieves but her business was so successful that when she sold it she got enough money to grub stake several more enterprises but she used some of the money to purchase Captain Billy Moore's boarding house in Skagway and then she turned it into the Pullen House, one of Alaska's biggest hotels and most elegant. Her tables were laden with fresh vegetables that she grew on her property near the old town site of Dai'i, which had been the gateway to the Chilkoot Trail back in the day. She also served her guests fresh milk from her own cows. Even during bad times, the hotel continued to be quite the landmark. In fact, President Warren G. Harding made a point of stopping there in 1923 when he came to Alaska for the railroad. She also enjoyed promoting tourism and she amassed enough artifacts to be able to have her own museum. And then later in life, she regaled tourists with tales of the Klondike Gold Rush days along with the shooting of the infamous Soapy Smith. She claimed that she had witnessed that. And then in 1947, after 50 years, in her adopted city. She did pass away at the age of 87, and she is buried near her once vibrant hotel. Quite the entrepreneur. Wow, yeah, I gotta get going to catch up with her. Yeah, next week in Storytime <laughs> with Aunt Phil, Alaska's first serial killer, how he pretended to be a U.S. Marshal and escaped his prison sentence in Juneau. 6.57, when we come back, a final look at that seven-day forecast.